This is perhaps even more serious. This is the Opus 90 of Beethoven. Now, what does he write next? Now, what has he done here as the maximum he could possibly do to tell you that this is exactly the same gesture as different as possible? It's not just different in space and harmony and things, but he's written short notes and, 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 and rests and forte, and then he writes long notes and portato and all of this. Again, is it possible, even thinkable, to play these at the same speed? Because I don't think it is. Now what do you have here? Again, I would think this is in quite a different speed. All of this kind of thing going on. And um, I have to say that all recordings by modern pianists know to me play one, two, three, four at exactly the same speed with absolutely no break in between. I presume M music has to have punctuation. We don't even get a comma. One of the th um, important things that happens when I go and give master classes is when I talk about this kind of thing, that this is a different speed, almost everybody says, but my teacher said in Beethoven, you never ch you're not allowed to change speed. That's romantic later. You're not allowed in Beethoven. So uh, when I was preparing this, I wrote to a lot of these students that I had seen in, in master class and said, do you have any quotes from any of your teacher? I'd love to have a quote somewhere that says, in Beethoven, you never change speed. And none of them could give me any, but they all said, no, every teacher I had told me this. Now, uh, here's a quote from Beethoven. In the song Nord oder Süd, he indicates a metronome mark of 100, but adds the following. 100, according to Melzel, however, this can only apply to the first bars because sensitivity has its own pulse and is not quite expressible by the rate of 100.